Hey guys, welcome to another episode here at Wristwatch Diaries where we just simply talk about watch related topics. And today I have something special for you guys. I have two watches here in front of me. These are my absolutely favorites. If somebody asks me, hey, what will be the two watches that you could take out of every watch you've ever owned and explore the rest of the world with, these will be my options right here. But before we get into those, let's do a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing my Casio A168 and this is honestly the cheapest watch I do on in my collection so let's turn the camera on and have a look at these watches right here in front of me all right you guys why don't we begin let's take a look at the what i would like to call the two perfect watch collection for me once again the reason i picked these two because they have the most meaning to me they are the ones that i would truly if there was no other choice tomorrow i had to leave and keep only two watches out of my entire collections these are definitely the two that i would go with so let's go ahead and start with the first watch right here and this right here is going to be my own personal Omega Speedmaster Professional. And just before we go on with, with talking about this watch, let's just have a look. Let's, let's just admire this for a couple minutes here. Wow. Once again, Omega, you've done an incredible job. I mean, the craftsmanship, the luxury feel of this, of this particular timepiece is absolutely stunning. I mean, the chronograph itself, uh, even when you engage the seconds hand, it's just feels so snappy and, and, and buttery. The 3861 caliber is just absolutely amazing in this, in this watch. And it goes back to its original spot, so... Wow. I don't know if you guys even caught that. I mean, it, it was so fast. So they, again, this to me is, is my daily driver. Uh, it reminds me of a Porsche 911. God, just have just just having a look at this watch. It's 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 so appealing. The nostalgic feeling is is always there. It never goes away. Uh, I did go with a closed case back. I'm not a big fan of the exhibition case backs on watches due to it. It kind of takes away from the actual feeling of the utilitarian uh, uh, feel behind it. I want it to feel more like a sporty and a tool watch uh, than a luxury watch. But I still want the craftsmanship of a luxury timepiece. And to me, this definitely marks all the check marks in a box. This is the Hazelite Crystal as well. Um, if you don't know about the Hazelite Crystal, inside, it's difficult to show on camera, but actually inside of the crystal, there's a little Omega logo that's etched in. Once again, stunning. Uh, the, the the strap option variations for this watch is absolutely incredible as well. Uh, if you Google uh, different types of leather options for this particular watch, you will notice that there's going to be so many images relating to how many variations of straps are compatible with this particular watch is just outstanding. Uh, for those of you that own Omega Speedmaster Professional, and uh, very much respect to you guys. I totally understand why you're a diehard fans. I mean, again, I feel like uh, I'm there with you right now. To know that I can take this everywhere and not worry about the functionality or the reliability of this timepiece. I mean, let, let's think about it here for a second. This was taken to the moon by astronauts. I mean, if it, if 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 it's good for that, it's good for everyday use. All right, so let's put this down for a minute here, and move on to the next watch I got in my what I like to call a two perfect watch collection for me, uh, and that is going to be this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning Panerai Nine One Four. And once again, let, let's just take a look. Let's sit back and admire this. Beautiful watch for a couple minutes here because it truly is incredible. Once again, let me just quickly cover the serial number on the back of this watch. But if you're not aware, this watch is numbered out of 1000 as well as this resistant to 300 meters, the solid case back as opposed to uh, exhibition case back. This is just a stunning timepiece, you guys. P5000 caliber uh, that offers a whopping eight day power reserve. And that's absolutely just remarkable engineering. Now also the buckle is just stunning. Once again, 
once again. This leather strap is actually very, very durable. I believe I've gotten this soaked and wet countless of times and it's really holding up really well. Wow, just a stunning, stunning timepiece. And if you guys are Panerai owners and you do have Panerais in your collection, you're a diehard Panerai fan, uh, please go ahead and comment below. I love to hear what you guys have. I love to hear what else is out there. It's such an iconic design too. The strap, it's holding up so well. That's the kind of quality I like to see in a watch. Wow, just absolutely stunning. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you here today in this video. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for coming along and taking a look at what I like to call the two most incredible pieces in my collection that I truly feel the most connected to and enjoy wearing the most. Uh, other than that, you guys, thank you for coming along and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.